This creepy influencer by the name of Riley May promotes her OnlyFans to my- Some of these kids are barely old enough to even say her name properly, let alone even own a phone. And what makes it worse is that she has a free OnlyFans that anybody can subscribe to. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. I truly lose hope in the human species with every second that goes by. Humanity is cursed! Now the topic of today's conversation is about Riley May, who is indeed an OnlyFans creator and also posts YouTube videos and TikToks. She's a strange specimen that I would never waste my seed to. And the reason I say strange specimen, ladies and gentlemen, is because she uses her YouTube channel to promote her OnlyFans. Now, the content she posts on YouTube are a mixture of this, this, and this. Oh my god, that's a f***ing kid! Now surely, guys, as an OnlyFans creator, the last thing you'd want your target audience to be is a bunch of children if you were a normal person. Normal person. I hardly know what. Are you subscribed to Riley May on YouTube? Yes. Can you show me your phone and prove it? She subscribed. Oh, she a she knows she a oh, she a with her betty so essentially, ladies and gentlemen, she's making content to promote their OnlyFans, but then forcing children to subscribe to her YouTube channel. Keep it in mind now, ladies and gentlemen, when you subscribe to a YouTube channel, their recent post will indeed pop up on their subscription feeds. And since she's forcing kids to subscribe to her, I can only imagine all the wonderful child entertaining content she makes. Wonderful colours, Legos, I, had, I can't wait. Oh, ha, ha. Now imagine you're a child, right? The first thing you see as soon as you come on her YouTube channel is subscribe. It's free with a spicy emoji. First things first, what does spice have to do with f***ing children? Do you have some spice? <laughs> I, need, I need to talk a spice. It will be needed if I'm going to continue filming this video. As soon as you click on the best link, straight away, whoa! A very child-friendly content there. Two pictures of her with her booty. But that's if you just go on her channel directly, and let's be honest, once she's forced them to subscribe, it's not as if the children are gonna go home and go on her channel anyways. My bigger problem is the content that she is posting between these kiddie videos. Why did it come out like that? I don't know. Now this is the latest video she has posted. What's it gonna be? A bit of arts and crafts? I can't wait. Well, no arts or crafts, only ass and racks. I mean, it goes without saying, this content clearly is named towards children. It's like a f***ing goon factory over here. Designed to pump out gooners. I'm not one of them. That's not the only spice content she posted. She posted several other ones as well. Just take a look at this. Oh my Jesus, good lord of Christ. Like, this is the target audience, ladies and gentlemen. Not this. But of course, guys, I hear your arguments, okay? I hear your cries. I hear your whimpers. Curtis. Be my lover. Curtis, she's only forced one child to subscribe to her, right? It's one child. Yeah, one child's life has now been ruined. I'm sure it won't surprise you when I tell you that it's not just one child. It's f***ing several. Thank you, subscribe to Raleigh, guys. Do you follow me? I can follow you. Do you follow me? Yeah. Do you follow me on TikTok? Yes. Since you're following me, are you subscribed to me? Yes. Well, when I get home, I'll subscribe to you. You're following me? I'll buy you two Sonic toys. Can you prove it by showing us your phone? <laughs> she's subscribed. I'm, I'm honestly... I'm, I'm going through it. I'm going through the motions. And why aren't the parents saying anything? Surely once the child subscribes, they can instantly see what kind of content is being posted on there. I mean, is this really a question that your child needs to answer? Should I be a naughty Barbie for Halloween? Monkey emoji. I'm online, babe. Come talk to me. Yeah, I'll come talk to you. Do you have Roblox? Like, surely the innocence of a child should not be subject to this. And if you're confused right now, I, I guess I understand. To dumb it down, think about it. She makes OnlyFans content. And to funnel subscribers to her OnlyFans, she uses her YouTube channel. The YouTube channel she asks children to subscribe to. And in between posting these thirst trap videos, she's posting content with kids in them. Which then would indeed place her channel in the content made for kids. So why would she try and infect the Coco Melon side of YouTube? <laughs> Coco Melon! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> what? What? Mom? I know her content isn't age restricted. You think this is fing age restricted? Like all those kids that she interrogated for them to subscribe to her channel. They can all see this content without any sort of age restriction whatsoever. Not to mention the children that haven't met her and have her videos pop up on their For You page. She posts videos going into the supermarket and asking children that they can buy whatever they want to and that she'll pay for it. Her channel has then been placed in a niche. And other children that watch similar kinds of videos to that, well, they will be recommended her content. And obviously, as we know, her content 
It's fucking death. It's fucking Fluff Dumpster's wet dream. Now, Riley May used to post other kinds of videos, which practically did promote her OnlyFans. And to be honest with you, it's not much better. It's the pinnacle of brain rot. How old are you? 82. Well, you definitely don't look 82. What's your secret? Spend a lot of time with the young ladies. Young ladies? Like me? No, you're a little too old for me. Huh? I'm literally 19. Yeah, you're expired. Right, okay. Well, I... I had to... I did it. So his secret at 82 years old to looking young is apparently spending time with the younger ladies and that 19 years old is expired. Well then, nothing wrong with collabing with a pedophile. That, that was a joke, obviously. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I can almost guarantee that she told him to say that. It's interesting how you went from making videos with these kinds of people who thinks 19 years old is too old for them to then making content with children. I mean, what the fuck? Can I use some sort of like, is that... Is that a sound of the popo on his way? Did this guy just out himself as a predator? Bro is the white diddy. Wow, I just noticed this as well, that someone commented Riley is also a predator. For real, for real, she uses kids to promote her OF. Jesus, what kind of people is she making videos with? I mean, did that guy just spawn there? Kiss or slap? I don't know, I just got here. Grab. Consent. This is a certified bruh moment. Bruh. Does that guy just say f consent? You can just tell this man has a mountain of tissues in the corner of his room. You need to get out in the real world, pal. Well, stop gooning to women on Instagram and TikTok. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something. I'll tell you something, right? Instead of doing stuff like that, you should be gooning to knowledge. I got a folder here with a document with all the notes I've been taking on philosophy. People like Immanuel Kant, that kind of level. Check it out. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like Riley has never been in the right frame of mind to be making content. It seems like it's either one way or the other. Making videos with the guilty or making videos with the innocent. There's no in-between with her. She's been ran through too many times. Now, moving on to her making videos with children, I honestly can't understand how her brain works. I think I'll need a f***ing brain scan after this. I mean, the left hemisphere of my brain is completely shut down. I'm not even gonna bother trying to find logical sense out of this. Here are my implants. Huh? What should I get the next person? How about deodorant? Here's some deodorant. What what should I get the next person? Like, cheese. Here's a piece of cheese. What should I give the next person? Uh, if they subscribe, give them whatever they want. Are you subscribed to Riley May on YouTube? Yes. All right, well, first things first, a lot of things to kind of cover in that clip alone. Going up to a bloke that's just independently shopping by himself and handing him your implants. I mean, is there something wrong with you? Hello, grocery shopping man. Here is a bag of my breast implants that have been surgically removed. And then his response to give something to the next person is deodorant. He's trying to say that she smells like shit or something. Man, shit, that pussy stank. Are you subscribed to Riley May on YouTube? Yes. Can you prove it by showing us your phone? Hmm? She's subscribed. Since you're subscribed. She's subscribed. Yay. Coco Melon. <laughs> <laughs> with the confetti added with the yay it's like really is that something to celebrate that a child is subscribed to your channel where you shake your ass indefinitely <laughs> but the whole thing is clearly staged and she clearly doesn't give a f all it's about is just promoting her only fans in one of the worst ways possible i mean if that isn't staged i don't know what is here's a piece of cheese what should i give the next person uh if they subscribe give them whatever they want if they're subscribed <laughs> Give them whatever they want. <laughs> you know, instead of forcing the child to subscribe to your channel just so you can get the content, how about you just give them a cup or sun and call it a day? Give them some Lunchly. I mean, they're probably better off with Lunchly rather than exposing them to the kind of content you post. As I mentioned already, most of it looks staged. Most of it is pre-planned before recording. She tells the kid her name, she tells the kid that she's got to subscribe to her channel, etc, etc, and then she presses the play button. This kid isn't having any of it. He couldn't give a flying fuck. He just wants to play some Black Ops 6. Tell me your biggest secret and I'll buy you anything you want from the whole store. I don't have a secret. What? You don't have any secrets? No. Okay, so what do you want? For you to leave him alone and stick your head in a fucking cement mixer. Can we look around? Yeah, let's go. Okay. What type of stuff do you like to do in your free time? Uh, play video games. What's one game you can beat me in? Um... Probably Super Smash Brothers. What's your favorite subject in school? Religious education. No f off. Math? Are you good at math? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I was never good at math. I can tell. Wow. Wow. Just got cooked by a 12-year-old. Clearly the kid just doesn't give a f 
he, he can't imagine being anywhere worse right now than in your presence. And you can tell she doesn't really care because there's not actually any conversations going on. She asks him a question, he answers, and then that's just the end of it. It's on to the next question. Like, why are you bothering these children in the stores for? This isn't helping your OnlyFans content. Children can't subscribe to your OnlyFans. Well, she's got a free one. What what does that mean for this generation? Do you want to get one of these? Okay. You can pick out anything that you want. Um. This one? Yeah. If you're following me, I'll get you another Nerf gun. Are you following me? No. Why not? You seem kind of boring. Wow. I mean, that says it all. Imagine trying to be as charismatic and as entertaining as possible and still being called f***ing boring. How does it feel, Riley May, to be a pick-me where nobody's picking you? But that's just another example of this OnlyFans creator disturbing the peace of children. She just wants her content and then she's out of there. What benefit does it bring her, you ask? Zero. She is gathering a child audience that cannot help her in any way. But instead it just damages children by exposing them to half-naked women. Like you haven't even allowed them to get to the stage yet where they go to the strip club in GTA 5. That was the first half-naked woman I saw in my life. I mean, how young will she go with these children? Once again, I'd like to remind you all, ladies and gentlemen, that when these children do follow her, this is the kind of content they will see first. It's just the lowest form of the human species. I mean, is it alright if we move to fucking Mars now? I is Elon getting along with that? It's gonna be as far away as possible from these kinds of people. But imagine being this excited to find out a child follows you when you are an OnlyFans creator. Is this your favorite color or flavor? Mm, no. If you're following me on TikTok, I'll buy you another thing, whatever you want. Do you follow me on TikTok? Yeah. What's my name? Riley. Ah, he knows! Okay. Hello, young child. Do you follow me on YouTube where I shake my booty? How go, Melly? He knows! Have you ever like thought about going to the doctor's office, get like a f on the bottom or something to find out why you are the way you are? Riley, you make OnlyFans content. You post shorts of you on YouTube shaking your ass and in bikinis and showing your breasts. Why are you making this kind of content that is targeting a young child audience? Why are you forcing children to subscribe to your channel knowing that you post these kinds of videos? Yeah, it's a couple of screws, Louis. Now, as I mentioned, she's got a free OnlyFans. I'm not sure if anybody can join it, but, you know, I've had my OnlyFans for years now. Oh, I know it. But I've had my account for years ever since I did the Gabby Hanna video, which was like three or four years ago. So I can just press join and it joins. Um, maybe you have to put credit card information but if someone wants to let me know in the comments just feel free to drop us a comment down below and letting us know but this is what is advertised on her YouTube channel. This is the first link. God help if one of the children click on that link, it'll be the end of their life before they know it. So as soon as I subscribe, I get a hi, thanks for subscribing to my free page. Here's something special to get you started. 10 naughty pics guaranteed to make you Oh, DM me or sub to my paid page if you want to see even more of me. So you thank me for subscribing to your free page and then you send me some images that I need to pay for. I'm bored to entertain me. Yeah, how about we just play some Lego Ninjago and call it a fucking day. DM me a naughty secret. I mean, fuck sick like it's even more frustrating knowing that she is making children subscribe to her youtube and the first link is only fans if they can get on you and see this shit uh, how is this helping you cool nice little cervix grow up there oh <laughs> You thought that was on her OnlyFans? No, that was on her YouTube channel. Once again, children are being asked to subscribe to this during her child videos. I don't really believe that you do enjoy making this kind of content advertised towards children, but if you actually do enjoy it, I suggest you make a brand new channel. Remove any kinds of links, remove any kind of ass-shaking video or you groping your JJ, and just have it nice, family-friendly, PG clean. And the argument I made to myself earlier was, you know, that perhaps you can't get on her OnlyFans for free you still have to put credit card information in, which is fine. But even then, despite her ass shaking YouTube videos that children can see that aren't age restricted, you can just click on the link once and straight away you're, you are. It is shoved in your face. Her ass cheeks. It's not the kind of thing a child should be seeing now, is it, Riley? But anyway, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video and check out my other videos, because if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you will enjoy these ones.